Hello and welcome to day two, part two in modular in a week where I build a modular system. We are doing VCAs today. Uh, last time we did vectoral VCAs which were a very smooth and uh, simple VCA. Today we are doing an IMO uh, which was originally, as far as I know, done by uh, Synth DIY guy, uh, Kinkas. Uh, if you haven't seen his channel, I really recommend it. He makes a lot of those more expensive DIY modules I talked about uh, in the higher price range than these ones. Uh, but so this is a VCA and a ring mod and maybe something else. It's a really simple circuit. You can fit two of them in one panel and that is what we're going to do today. So let's dive straight into the schematics of things. I should start to tell you where I got the information and inspiration for this module. So the Synth DIY guy uh, in his synth DIY class number five pocket passive patch pals and the JFET delight I'll put a link to this in the description of course uh, so in this video he makes a lot of these small passive patch pals he calls them which there is no better word for it it's uh, small things um, he has capacitors, resistors, splitters, and and uh, summers, and attenuators, and he yeah, lots and lots and lots. But at around eight minutes here, he starts talking about the two N fifty four fifty seven. And here he makes uh, the that circuit. I'll show you uh, in a minute. And I don't have that since we don't have an LFO yet. I don't have that good uh, music examples. Uh, if we listen to his examples here, there are some better ones. So he also explains all the other functions. So watch this video and you will learn all about the IMO. Uh, I'll just going to build it now. I'll show you the schematics and then we'll build it for our module. So the expensive part in the IMO is the transistor, the MOSFET transistor. Um, and if you do my panel you can fit two IMOs in one panel. Uh, so you need two, two N5457 and this is also passive if I didn't say that before. So I'm making two. Uh, the reason it is so expensive even though it's really small part count is the three jacks that's one and a half dollars and then the two N5457 which is really expensive at all the places I found it so it's three dollars for one chip. So, because of that price, the amount for the this really simple circuit goes up. The transistor, the capacitors and resistors is peanuts in the this. Yeah. The schematics super simple. You have the transistor in the middle, and then you have in. AM and outputs with resistors and capacitors. Again building this takes 5 to 10 minutes if you're fast at soldering. Um, I did try a lot of transistors so I went back and forth between many many MOSFETs but and this was one of the 
times where my reverse avalanche, which I used for testing this, was not the optimal choice as it was too quiet and maybe some of the other MOSFET transistors would have worked as well had I had a better uh, VCO to try with. But the 2N5457 works really well and if you can afford it, it's what is needed for this module. And the panel, as I said, really simple, IMO, uh, in, you put them three jacks on the top and three jacks on the bottom. And you have two modules in one. And this is how the panel looks like when it is done. IMO, IMO, two in one. So for some reason, I don't know why, I used two different capacitors when I built these. But you can see it is the transistor, two resistors and one uh, capacitor. Um, yeah, and three jacks of course. And that is it. Super simple uh, VCA. And that is about it. It's so simple to build, so it's really easy, but... And this is also a passive module, if I didn't say that before, so it's really nice that way. It is extra harsh right now because we're only controlling it with our square wave low uh, frequency uh, of oscillators from the oscillator bank. Uh, later on when we do a bit more smooth uh, LFO and things like that, it will sound smoother as well but compared to the VCA which is very slow this is super fast and in the next episode we make one more VCA uh, which is a bit more sophisticated uh, and well that is in the next episode I hope you like this video press the like button and make sure you don't miss the next one press the subscribe button and to make sure you really don't miss it press the bell button and see you next time bye